Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. So, if I'm being honest here, I am kind of stuck. I don't know really how to proceed in the game. I've got one level three, one level two, a bunch of level ones, and then some newbies who I just recruited. And I really want to start taking on some of these uh, veteran missions. They're level three, these people won't go. Um, I've got them queued up for this mission here in the ruins. But I tried to take some lobies, like some level 1s on this mission uh, last week or in the last episode. And they got destroyed, basically. So I need to have at least level 2s and level 3s before I do that. Um, but I still also want to take care of the Swine Prince. And anyone who's level 3 will not go on that mission. So got to do a little bit of juggling, uh, I think, to do that. So what I've decided to do today is we're going to take Kirtel, who is already level 2. Um, and try to maybe get him to level 3 and then we'll take Rames and Cornelius here who are level 1 and hopefully maybe get them to level 2 and then this is a new healer Pantul or new Vestal who we'll take out just to try to get her to um, uh, level 1 basically and I'm just actually I pause there because I just saw her skills and I'm not very happy with them Uh, but I'll actually try it because I don't want to spend it's 800 bucks to get her to learn Hmm, you know what? Let me uh, let me do that real quick actually Take her to the guild here, and I think I'm gonna teach her probably Hmm Probably judgment And we'll take illumination off. I rarely use that. What is this last thing? Hand of light. That reduces their damage and their accuracy and gives her a bonus. Hmm. Versus illumination. Which reduces dodge and increases the light. But she can use it on all targets. Oh, but she can't use it in the last slot. So I'll use Hand of Light and Judgment for her instead. All right, so now we got that sorted. We are going to go on this Ruins mission. It's a skirmish mission. It's a short level one mission. We just have to complete 100% of room battles, basically. The idea is we're observing how these monsters fight. So let's get our party back here. It was Kirtel, Cornelius, Rames. And uh, this is the wrong order, actually. So let's pop him there and then Pantool in the last slot. And away we go. See, I'm running low on money. I'll just try eight. I'm going to try, you know what? What about just six food on a short mission? One shovel. Let's get our torches taken care of. We'll take, we'll take just six. And we'll take uh, two of these, two of these. One herb, one key, one holy water. And away we go. So we're also having to do a little bit of a battle of how much gold we spend because we're starting to run low. We've abandoned some missions recently, so not earning as much gold as we normally would. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm worried that I'm going to end up doing something that causes me to get stuck and not allow me to proceed, but hopefully that won't happen. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to place to begin, to begin than the seat of our noble line? All right, so at least we have a nice easy path. It's 100% of room battle, so we'll just make our way around the circle here. And she does have a, a scouting bonus here in the Warren, so we should see some of that. And then there's a Warren's tactician, I believe, in our group as well. And we surprise these guys right off the bat, which is always excellent. So what does this do? That's a self. Okay, we'll just hew on these two guys in the front. And then try to pull the... Uh, are we worried about stress or damage here? Probably stress. Let's see if we can get that guy to come forward. We do. And uh, let's try a stunning blow. Perfect. And uh, these are out of order that I normally think, so just bear with me a second. 
Uh, that's four. So we use judgment on this guy, and we get the kill. Excellent. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, let's see. If we can stun the obvious. Uh, hmm, that does have a stun, right? I'm not crazy. Maybe I am. Uh, Hugh again. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Uh, we'll just attack. I'm curious, I want to see that ability again because I thought that was the stunning one, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just damage. Let's try Zealous here. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And we should get the kill. Nope, he misses. Of course. Oh, so I just picked Judgment, not the stun. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't have a choice now. It has to be fine. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So a thousand gold, or almost a thousand gold, is really good right off the bat. So I believe if you use holy water on these confession booths, yep. So just relieving our stress. So we gotta remember that. Holy water on booths. Combat in this room. Pretty nasty mix of stuff too. I'm gonna well. I'm just gonna go for the attack. I gotta remember next time we get surprise off the bat, we should take revenge. And then we'll be buffed for the next round. Let's see if we can't do judgment on these acolytes. On this acolyte. It's only one. Good dodge there by Reams. And yeah, I mean, come hither, I believe, on the acolyte is always a good play, unless, of course, they dodge it. Does he have some kind of weird. No, they're just hard to hit. That's all it is. Let's try to stun this middle brawler, or second brawler. Just hit the bleed there, which is always welcome. Um, let's just try to do damage then. Oh my god, two dodges in a row. He seems to be dodging just as well himself, though. There, we got the kill without too much stress coming in anyway, so I'm happy with the results. Yeah, I think Hugh here is good. Got one kill. Here's that slowdown again. I'm not sure what is causing that, but something changed. Uh, I think a Zealous here can end this. Unless, of course, that happens. How about a Hugh? Perfect. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Picked up some extra food, which is good because we didn't bring that much on the mission. Oh, did I grab any shovels? Even the I thought maybe I forgot for a second. Seems bent on preventing passage. Ow. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Well, let's try. You know, I'm not gonna unlock that. I'm gonna wait until we get a chest, but I am gonna pop some torches. In so radiance, we get the bonus here. we find victory. No combat, maybe some scouting, yes. So just an empty room ahead. We don't have another shovel, so we are gonna take stress Without for this one. Of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Picked up some more heirlooms. We are hungry. All right. I just did that for more scouting. That's what we're going to get. All right. So definitely combat here. There's a trap. Let's go ahead and figure out our Trap resistance, 40 for him. All right, so our bounty hunter here, Cornelius. Cornelius? Cornelius? I don't know how you say it, actually. I was saying Cornelius, but that's not exactly it. Whatever his name is. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I was going to say I was going to avoid that, but he's not going to allow me to do that. 
Read some unsettling passages. Take some stress. Switch to Cornelius here. And that Ancient didn't go as planned, obviously. Lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Alright, so definitely combat in here, so let's get the full bonus. Hopefully we can get a surprise. Yep, alright. So we're going to use revenge. Should buff him. Makes him less accurate, but well, it does more damage, which is kind of cool. And we'll use a judgment on a courtier. Try to bring the other one to the front. He resisted the pull. Let's try to. Uh, let's just use Zealous here. It's going to say stun, but they're already surprised, so. Some stress incoming. Getting kind of high, but mostly okay. Good dodge. Let's uh, let's try doing that again. All right, now they're in the front. We'll do another judgment on this one. So now let's hew. Wow, well, that's good stuff right there. And just all out attacks take care of this one, but not if you miss, it doesn't. Dodge and return, though. And let's just go. This All right. expedition at least promises success. And that's actually it. It's unlocked, so no need to use a key, I don't think. It's not a family chest, so. Alright, so that went mostly okay. Um, his stress is getting kind of high. But let's go anyway. Pick up some more gold because we kind of need it. If you'll leave that alone, I will. More heirlooms. Really after gold, but that's okay. Well, there is a trap. Let's have Cornelius deal with that. Alright. And let's just use our torches here so we can get the full scouting bonus. See if it's even worth going to that next room. No scouting, but... Let's check it out anyway. I got surprised even though the light was really low there, so I'll take it. So yeah, as long as there's a surprise, we're going to do this every time, because it seems to pump his damage up a ton. And yeah, let's try to get the uh, Fusilier to the front. Perfect. Let's have her just try to hit this big guy here. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to just kill the Fusilier. Oh my god. <laughs> let's try it again. Yeah, I've got to look into that. <clears throat> Excuse me, i got to look into that and see what those slowdowns are being caused by. Right. Let's just go for tons of damage here. Start working on the guy in the back. I think we're going to be okay. I think because these guys don't really have much in the way of attacks. Wow, 40, almost a 40 the point crit the there. Glory. And we'll get the kill. A trifling victory. So we'll use our but very last torch and go in here, see what we find. Empty room, no combat. So we'll go ahead and just exit the dungeon. So let's see what we get. More bones return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss.
Oh man, I thought he was almost going to get level 2. So he gets extra speed when he's below 50% health, which is okay. Curious. Eh. Extra damage and more crit, or more accurate and more crit against beasts, and she didn't pick up anything. Um, she just became level 1, basically. Alright. Obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Okay, so Fresla was in the tavern and got 500 gold and also recovered stress. Edie has came back from wherever he had gone. So that's good. We had, we're right above $13,000, which does give us a chance to do some stress reduce. I really need to work on Kirtel here. He's got um, Fragile, and I don't want him to have that. So let's go take a look at the Sanitarium, see what kind of upgrades we can do. So we can reduce the cost and increase the number of slots. Wish I could do both. Don't think I can. Oh, actually, I think I can. Yeah. Perfect. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. So yeah, let's get rid of Fragile. The rest of these are okay. You know, I don't like any of the in-town only traits, but I'm not going to spend gold at this point removing that. So we'll just work on Fragile. And was there anything else? I'll just kind of look at my level 1s real quick and see what they have that I want to kind of take care of. So he loses damage when he's ranged, which is not ideal, but... First round, he loses damage. That's actually not... I don't know. Let's see. He has nothing. Well, I had more level ones than I thought, actually. Weak grip on life, so she has a... Yeah, I don't want that to be the case, so... Let's... I gotta be careful here, though, because I wanna have... I'm gonna need someone to basically tank for me. And they're all kinda stressed out. Let's see who we get. Get another crusader who could tank for us on some of these level one missions. The roster is full though. Oh, we have Oryx too. Okay. Alright, well then yeah, let's let's throw Pius here. Pius, I don't even know how you say it. And get rid of weak grip on life. Alright, so let's see what I got opened up for us here. So two more level ones, and that's kind of what we're going to focus on until we get a couple of these people to level two, and then when they're level two, we'll go try to kill the Swine Prince again. And hopefully that will boost some of those to maybe level three. If not, we'll just keep going on level ones until we get them. So I think we've got a good path forward again, just kind of worried about not having. So I think we'll start doing a mixture of these newbies with some of our level ones who are getting close, as long as they're not too stressed out, like Rames I would take out on another mission. Probably Fresla, and then throw in uh, like Oryx and maybe Rainbow Court here just to see how that works out. But that's going to be in another video. That's going to wrap up this video for us. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time.